Wired Lady TV every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, today I'm a little unorganized. I usually do sketches before the live stream. Um, this week I have an idea in my head and I haven't actually done the sketches. So we're going to start with sketching. If you need to go and take a get a coffee or whatever, I'll start the wire pretty soon. Uh, but we're going to start with some sketching of some ideas. And the idea that I had was to make a wire chess set. Hi, Mustafa. Nice to see you. Thanks so much for hopping on. So, so yeah, I'm going to make uh, some little chess pieces to make a little and I'll do a, I'll make a chess board on my own time but I thought it would be a fun project and this is sort of inspired by my friend uh, Patricia uh, Patricia Srigley who makes chess sets out of uh, uh, clay and pottery so her stuff is really cool I'll link it up in the description below she sells them on Etsy hi Clarice how are you so what I'm going to do is I'll flip the screen and I'm going to pull up the video on um, YouTube, as always, that's, uh, you can see outside Montreal, all, this, all the snow is done and it's um, starting to uh, rain a little bit. And Off the Gridish Land says, I'm excited to see your live stream live for the first time. Sweet, I love that. So let me pull up the video on so I can see your comments. Uh, I'm going to flip the screen around here to my work table. And like I said, I haven't even done sketches this time. I usually do sketches. Uh, but this time I'm very unorganized so I'm going to start doing some sketches for some chess pieces and then we're going to make them out of wire. So I'll actually show you guys I do a lot of art and drawing and sketching and I had a request from a girl to design a tattoo for her. Uh, and I did a drawing for that last night so I'm going to show you that first. Uh, hi Corey. Uh, so I did a, and I wasn't sure, she had said I could do any design for a tattoo, and at the time I was working on the bee designs. Do you remember the honeybees? So I made a drawing based on one of the uh, wire ones I did. I had done like a wire heart uh, with, the, with the honeycomb and a bee on top, but this one's a little more detailed for a tattoo. Uh, as it turned out, I was way too slow. It took me three months to do this. So... Uh, and hi, Cowbell. How are you? Long time. Uh, hi, Piper. So yeah, so um, so here we go. So this was the design that I did for her for the tattoo. Unfortunately, she's already um, committed to getting a different design, but I am going to put it out there if anybody wants this design for a tattoo. And then I colored it in. I did a photocopy and I colored it in. So, so that's really fun. Um, I love drawing. I love any kind of art. So that's that's what I do on the side. And I have an art channel. If you guys don't already know, it's called uh, Heather Boyd Art. So I'll link that up in the description below as well. Hi, Maria. How are you? And just a heads up, Clarice and Mustafa are moderators of the chat. So if you guys have any problems or questions, they're gonna they're gonna take care of that. Remember, in the chat, there's no talking about personal health issues, world politics, any of that stuff, any any comments like that will get removed. And I really appreciate Mustafa and Clarice helping me out with this. And Amber's not here today, so um, I really appreciate the two of you um, being there. That's great. So now what I did was I just looked on Google for uh, what some chess pieces look like. So I thought I'd just do like a few sketches and then we're just going to try it. So like there's a king and then there's the queen. And so, I mean, traditionally, it just, the king seems to have some kind of thing on top. I'm not sure what it is. And then hopefully you guys can see my drawing. Maybe I'll just do it in marker, even though I might make a mistake. It might be easier for you to see if I do it in marker. And then you guys can get an idea of how I design things. So usually what I do is I just go ahead and do a rough drawing. Like this is sort of like a traditional shape for the piece and what I'm going to do is I'll make some that are very different as well. So um, what I'm going to do now is so then there's going to be like the queen. So the queen would be you know definitely cute if she had like a real crown and I might make it look more queen like I'm just going to draw them like sort of how they are traditionally and then we'll go from there. So like I said usually I do these sketches first. If you guys want to go grab a coffee uh, go ahead and then the night it looks like the night when it has like something like that. Um, I'm just really like winging it based on a Google image of a chess piece on Amazon. And so we've got like that type of thing. I probably should have thought this out beforehand. And then the, the horse, of course, I've already done horses before. So I could do something 
like similar to a horse that I've done. And I think I'm going to definitely make it a little bit more fancy, but that would be fun. And I also have to think in terms of if I want to do it three-dimensional or not. So we're going to see how that goes. Did I say hi to Maria? Hi, Maria. If I miss your name in the comments, just let me know. And like I said, if you want to come back in five minutes when I start doing the wire work, you can totally do that. And then the castle is, I mean, this for sure is typical castle like that, right? So we're going to do this. And um, I, like I said, this one was inspired by my friend Patricia, who's made these out of um, clay before. And her work is beautiful. So this is the pawn. So pretty straightforward. Um, there's only really like six pieces. And then you can get creative with it depending on what you want to do and um, depending on what kind of designs that you want. So yeah, they, it looks like I'm just looking at some other pictures online to see what it looks like, but they're all pretty basic like that. And then, um, I mean, you could even go um, uh, oh, off the British land. I love that you keep the conversation about the live stream only. Yes, you can. Uh, thank you for keeping this a uh, fun place to come and we could absolutely 100%. It's all all positive here for sure. So um so now we are going to um like even like with the queen if you wanted to you can go like all out which I think would be fun and do like hair on her could be cool. Um you can just like really really get interesting with it. You could even do like, like, I don't know, like a little heart. I mean, I'm, I haven't really decided how I want to do these, but you could definitely make them really, really interesting. You could put beads for a necklace. I mean, there's so many things you could do. And you could even like do like a coil thing for her to stand up. And then say you were going to do a king in the same way, you could do like that type of thing too, but he would have like a smaller crown, I guess. You could also do a stick figure type thing. So say you did a stick figure um, like that. So you can just do like like this type of thing. There's so many things you could do. I mean, it's 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 your it's your uh, creativity that um, is going to get it going. So hi Vanessa, amazing, thank you. Hi Sel, nice to see you. So yeah, so you could do like. I mean, that's not really the position that I would want, but you could do like a little, this could be like a funny little king there. That, that almost looks like a joker. And then you need a stand to stand it up. So why don't we just go for it? These are a few ideas. And then I am going to see what I, the coil is good, eh? Because it, 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 um, it helps it stand. So Clarice has just shared the link to the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. If you guys aren't already members, you definitely want to join that group. You can share pictures of your wire art and jewelry. Um, I think I'm going to start with, this is really soft 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire. This is the wire that I used um, in the uh, for the flattened wire pendants. So let's just try something like this. It might be a little bit uh, small but or thick, but we're going to just play around with it for a little bit and see. Uh, so, chacun de ta neoma. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Hello from, all right, friend Angel. Hi, Angel. Okay, now I have to remember these usernames. So that's Angel from Ecuador. So let me just, I'm going to write it down so I remember because sometimes I have trouble remembering people's names. And if I do forget, just remind me. Here we go. Uh, Amber's really good at that. She she remembers everybody's names. So, but she can't be here today. So we have um, Mustafa and Clarissa are always here too, and I super appreciate it. So, um, so we are just going to try to do. Um, why don't we just keep it simple? If I start with like a little pawn or something, and then we're going to go from there. So, say we wanted to do a um, just a pawn. You probably would need like a little circle. So let me get the end of the sharpie. Uh, don't forget to like. Nice. Thank you, Clarice. Yeah, like, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Hi, Mirta. How are you? Nice to see you. And so now, if we're going to do like a little pawn, maybe I should start from the end, Ashley, or I'm just trying to see how I'm going to do it. Why don't I start? I'm going to start with the, um, the bottom part and work my way up. So say we started with a coil. I just need to cut the end. We're just gonna cut the little end here. We're gonna start at the bottom and then work our way up. This wire's a little too soft. 
uh, for it to be solid. But if you use a brass wire, it would be much more solid. So just for example, say we just did, we want to just stretch it out a little more, I think, around here. Say we wanted to do just a basic pond. So this is going to be the coil. And if this was brass wire, it's going to hold its shape much more. Even the copper wire will hold its shape much more too. Um, this one, it's very, very soft. I think I'll do the next one with brass because this one is very soft and it's not going to hold its shape very well. So that's good to know. The aluminum is probably not great. Actually, I have a better aluminum that I use for my work. That's a little stronger. Just let me grab it. Hang on. I'm just going to get a piece it's over on the floor. There we go. So I'm going to use this one. It's a little bit harder because that other one is a little too soft. So let's try it. Hi, Pamela. Sunshine state. Very nice. Is it sunshiny today? Because some states are actually having snowstorms, which is a little insane. So we have a beautiful day here. And then we're going to bring this one up. So this is a stronger aluminum wire. So this will more hold its shape. And um, brass wire will definitely hold its shape. You can get that tarnish resistant brass from uh, artistic wire too. So if we just, if this end you have trouble curving that, just cut it a little bit more. And if we want to do like a basic pawn, you can even add a bead to it, I guess. This is going to look like super plain and a little bit strange, but let's just bring this one across. I'm going to bring this one straight across, bring the wire up and see if we can fit a bead on there just to see if we can make it look a little more interesting. We're going to put a bead on there. It does not look like a pawn at all, but these, you can make these pieces look like anything you want. Really, the sky is a limit. So I'm just like really playing with them right now. Like say you just want to surround that with wire, bring that one around and you guys are on the ground floor. So if I develop these into a nicer, like finished design, I'll do a tutorial. And that would be really fun to have a tutorial for like a chess set. So that's like super cute and simple. Uh, just for like, and if you imagine if you made a bunch of these, you can play chess with them. So this, and then it does stand up. Sometimes you'll have to get this and fix it up a little bit. Oopsies. Get it to stand. There we go. So we've got our pawn. So he's super cute. Uh, warm but overcast. Nice. So I'm going to remove that one. And then let's try, just experiment with these wires. I ordered this pair of wire, uh, tarnish resistant wire, faux gold. So I... Don't know if it's a brass. It looks like brass. Let me know if you've used this pair of wire before. It's 16 gauge, so I wanted to try it. And let's try this one. So we'll try the pair of wire. I'm waiting on some more wire from Beadalon too. They should be sending me some stuff soon. So let's cut a piece of this one. Um, keep it a decent size, I guess. And these don't have to be huge either. You can make a miniature chessboard, which would be really cool. So now let's try the same thing where we do, we could do the spiral, but we don't have to do the spiral either. We can change these up. So why don't I just start in the middle and I'm gonna start with the castle part of it. So there we go. Cause it's fun for these samples to do something a little different every time. And then you guys get an idea of what we can do. So we're gonna bring this and bend it into a castle looking things. These are my favorite. Zuron tweezer nose pliers. I love these pliers. I'm seeing that this wire is pretty soft. I think it's copper. I don't think this is brass. And it's, um, yeah, it's very soft and it's not making super crisp corners. Uh, to try to make a crisper corner, you just hold it with the pliers and push with your finger and that makes a slightly crisper uh, corner. Uh, hi, Carmen from Tennessee. Nice. And hi, Tish. And hi, Janet. Everybody's hopping on. Nice. We're making a chess set today. Uh, or I should say we're attempting to make a chess set today. We're going to see how that goes. So this is the castle. I don't know how I think I'm only going to get three out of there because it's going to be like too wide. So if we do something like this, we can also make them... Uh, 
single, like, um, uh, how do you say, uh, one dimensional, no, two dimensional, nothing, <laughs> not one dimensional, two dimensional. So we're going to bring that one down here. And then let's say we bring it down here. I'm really just playing around with this. So we're going to see. <clears throat> Janice says, love your creations. Thank you. I made a pond with copper wire. It looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> so Piper, you're working along with us. Uh, that's awesome. Yes, I actually have made Christmas trees that in that same style. You're right. It would look a bit like a Christmas tree. So now we're going to bring this one down here. We're due to do another uh, Let's Get Wired episode where we all work at the same time. And Mustafa and I are working on how to do a live stream with Zoom. We did a test the other day. It worked not too great because there was a lag. So I'm going to try a different app called Steamyards. And then we're going to get like maybe 10 people on board to do a live stream on Zoom if you guys want to participate. But you have to be willing to like get on camera, which is not for everybody, that's for sure. But you can also just put the camera on your hands, which would be fine too. So... I don't think I, do I want this curve? Yeah, the the one I'm looking at is curved out a little bit. So say you did something like this, you could, um, I'm going to change it up a little bit, I think. I'm going to just see what I can do here. It doesn't have to look exactly like a castle. I'm actually going to go do something really different with this. So I'm going to just bring this one out here. And, uh, yes, this is a tower, exactly. It's it's called a tower. I thought it was called a castle. I always call it a castle. But um, I haven't played chess since I was, like, a kid. We had a chess board at home. Um, I think it was, like, a table that my mom painted or something. But, yeah, I don't even think I know how to play chess. So there we go. So we go something like that. I'm just for fun going to try to do, like, a few windows in there. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just having fun with it. Last week we did the we did the lighthouses. That was super fun. I really enjoyed that. Whoops, this is getting tangled now. So yeah, we could just do a couple of I don't think those windows are necessary, but that's okay. So hi Nada. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you so much. Happy you're here. And uh, we're trying to make a chess set today. I'm just playing around with different ideas. You guys know me. I just try anything. I was not prepared today. I did not do any sketches. I've been busy with a lot of other projects. So we're just going with it to see how it goes. So now to make it stand up, there are a few possibilities. We also have to finish one end and then we have to get one end to make a like a kind of a circle. So why don't we bend this one out like that. And then this one, I guess we could just bend it across maybe, just bend it across here. And um, I guess we could just cut it too. I could have just, could have just finished it off like that. Um, I think I'm gonna deal with this one first. So if I bend this one that way, and now it's going awesome, thank you. Okay, so now let us, get a, these are my babushka doll pill bottles. So we're gonna get one of those out. Uh, hi, Heather, what's the best wire to use? Hi, Patrice. So I like the artistic copper wire. This is actually ParaWire 16 gauge. Um, I'm finding it a little bit soft, but um, just for the sake of uh, doing this sample, it's not too bad. But you can, that's a little wide. I'll get a smaller bottle. So I, yeah, I like the artistic copper wire from Beetle On and it comes in different colors and it's non-tarnished. So that's that's usually the wire that I use, at least for the samples. So um, it really depends on what you're making. There's different wires are good for different things. So if we're gonna do like that, and if you wanna make it more like solid underneath, we can do a spiral. So my preferred way to make a spiral is to get the ring cone. And we're just gonna go around and around like that. And then I always like take the end and let me get my round pliers, take the end, bring it in, just bring it in to close the end there. You don't have to, but it just makes it a little less pokey. So we've just brought that in there. And then we're gonna close it up. And then maybe once I've done these, you guys can like, give me feedback on which is your favorite of all of them. And then I could do something like a whole set in the same way, which would be cool. So now let's just bring this one in. So that makes a cool little stand that's gonna sit on the table, which is really neat. And then this end, we can just clip it off 
I think to make it easier, let's just clip it off for now. Uh, we can think of another way to finish it another time. So we're gonna clip that. Hi, Laura. Uh, oh, thank you. Nice to see you. So so this is the, I think there's a lot of possibility with this, this project of doing a chess set. So I think we're just gonna develop some ideas today and then you guys can go for it, especially if you guys are chess lovers. You can, or checkers, you know, checkers would be super easy. You just, all you have to do is be do like different colors maybe for the different colors. Why I thought like silver gold would be cool. So here's the castle and then it does stand. Sometimes you have to like fix this a little bit so it stands better. And so it'll stand on the table and I'll just hold it this way so you can see how it looks. So there is, I would love to see the whole set. Well, I will definitely do a set. So far we've just done a um, castle and a pawn, and I'm not sure if I wanna do beads in them or not. I haven't quite decided. So we're gonna see, gonna do this with my grandson. Oh, that would be fun to do with this kid, this with kids, they would love that. Mm -hmm. Kids would love it. So now, what other wire do I have? I have this really ugly yellow wire, but I think it's also too soft. Oh man, yeah, these wires are very soft, the aluminum wires, so those are going back in the bag. Um, I also have tin copper in the 18 gauge, which I might opt to use that. And I'm just looking at my other wires. I think that might be, we could do a mini one. Let's do a mini one with 18 gauge and see how it looks. Uh, Janet says, will you please say hi to my granddaughter, Madeline? Oh, hi, Madeline. How are you? Madeline, that's such a beautiful name. We know a girl called Madeline. She lives not too far from here. And um, she's a very sweet girl. So, uh, yeah, beautiful name. Hi, Madeline. Everybody say hi, Madeline. There we go. So let's cut a piece of wire, 18 gauge, and we are going to do that. And I'm going to make the horse. So I don't know if it's called a horse. Maybe in chess language it has a different name. I'm not sure. So gold and silver would be a great way to make sets. That's what I thought. It would differentiate them for sure. Patrice says, hi Madeline. Uh, it's a knight. It's a knight. Oh, the horse is a knight? I thought the knight was different. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Madeline's get, getting lots of hellos, that's perfect. So now we are going to do a horse. Do we do an eye? Maybe we can do an eye. We can make the horse a little more detailed. So let's do that. The horse is a knight. There you go, thank you, Varun. I have no idea. So what's the other one? What is, um? oh, this is something else. What's this one called? The one beside the queen. I guess I should learn my chess lingo. Oopsie doopsie. Oh, well, uh, so somebody can tell me what bishop. Oh, there we go. I would have never remembered that. Okay, so what what is a bishop? Is it a, it's like a, would that be like a joker in a card game? Because I thought maybe, uh, I had seen some online that looked um, uh, like sort of like a king, queen, and a joker. So is a bishop a joker? Let me know. Yes, it, I remember it does move diagonally, yes. And then the horse does that funny, like, three up and one across, right? I remember that, yeah. So it's all coming back to me. So now to do the horse, I'm actually just gonna do a horse similar to what I've done in the past. So, yay, Janet, that's awesome. I just love, I just love kids. I do, um, I do a lot of, uh, um, sorry, uh, I'm just going to remove that question. Let's not have personal questions about age. So I'm going to remove that one. Sorry about that. There we go. Perfect. And now we're going to do a ear. There we go. And we are going to do a horse. Kind of similar to what I've done in the past for different kinds of horses. So there we go. Okay. So now let us just do the little nose here. And we are going to make a little horse. So oh, I'm going to make that a little bit longer. There we go. The nose is a little bit off. So there we go. We're just going to bring that one out and bring that one down. And there we go. So we're going to try the horse. It's going to be small because this is 18 gauge wire. So let's just bring this one across and then down and then up. 
And then we're going to bring this one down like that. And let me just see how I'm going to do this. And I want to do a mane as well. So let me just figure out the best way to do this. Um, and I also want to do the base. So if we bring this one across here, maybe I'm going to, I'm not sure how long to make this. Uh, we're going to bring, it's going to bend that a little bit here, give it some shape, bring this one down and oh, nice. Okay, Janet, no worries. So let's just bring this one here and bring this one across. And I'm going to, so this is sort of the, it's more like a silhouette type thing because with wire, it's hard to make it really 3D. That's why you make them stand up with like the little spiral thing. So now if I attach this here, I want to do a kind of a main thing. And the other thing is you don't have to do like a total spiral to hang, to, to stand them up, but I do want to do like a main. So I think I'm actually, I could twist it around there, but if I want it to be more flat, I can just bring this one out here, okay? And then I can start to do like a kind of a mane. So we're gonna bring this one in here. And you know, you can definitely put beads on these. I think it would be really cool to add beads to some of these too. I might end up adding some beads. We're gonna see, I'm gonna to try to do like one of each and then after I might do some with beads. So we're gonna see. So now here's the, the, um, the knight not the horse. <laughs> I have to get my lingo right. So there we go. And then we're going to bring this one up. Hi, Eva. I'm going to make a set in, I'm silver for one side and copper. Good idea, Laura, to put copper on the other side. Oh, Laura, I can't wait to see your set. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm excited, guys. If you guys make some, be sure to share them in the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you don't have Facebook, we do have a Slack group. So Mustafa, maybe you could drop the link for the Slack group. I don't go in there super often, but I do check now and then. And if you share your work in the Slack group, I can share them in the community section as well. So other people can see your work. It's nice to have a, a platform where people can share their work. So here's horse, super cute, not a horse. It's not a horse, it's a knight. And then we want it to stand. So there's a few ways you can get it to stand. Uh, we can just like maybe push this one like just out like that and then just do a circle. So now if we get this circle, okay, looks like a unicorn. Oh, well, there you go. We could... It's your set. If you guys make one, it's your set. If you want to do a unicorn instead of a knight, you go for it. Do a unicorn. I actually really like that idea. We could do unicorns and princesses and other like fantastical creatures. That would be super cool. So now I actually want even this to be a little smaller. So I'm going to get a smaller pill bottle. And because I actually have done unicorns this style, but then you put beads for the uni for the unicorn horn, which is really cool. You could do that too. So now let's we're gonna bring that one across. So there's, oh, I like this one, guys. So far, this is my favorite, and we're gonna clip that. Just clip it. You don't have to if the if the wire is um, solid, you don't have to twist it around to hold it in place. That's why I've been loving doing those paper clip. Um, those paperclip tutorials because the paperclips are super stiff. In fact, we should make a chess set out of paperclips. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, so it's so hard. It's definitely an advanced project, guys. Cute for little kids. Awesome. Yeah, it would be cute for kids. So here's here's the night. This one I'm super happy with so far. So I'm gonna just stand and it stands, guys. Super easy. So we've got the night. We have the castle and we have the pawn. I'll probably redo the pawn. I'm not loving the beads. So let's put this one back. And Eva's going to definitely try it. Yay. Did you make a rook? This is the rook, right? The I called it a castle. Oh, boy, guys. I got to get my lingo down. You guys are funny. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write it. I'm going to write those down. So now we need to do the bishop. And the bishop, all I have for that is like this type of thing. What does that represent, guys? Do you guys know why it's that shape? Is that supposed to be a head or a helmet? Maybe that's supposed to be a helmet. Let me know what the bishop's supposed to be. So time for bishop. Yes, yes, we're on it. So let's get this one again. Get going with this. The other wire I have is the brass, but the brass is super hard. It's really hard. So this is the artistic wire, 16 gauge brass. 
Uh, but just share the link for Slack because I'm using, no worries, Mustafa, don't worry at all. I'll link it up in the, actually, you guys can find the Slack link in the, just in the about section of my, of my channel. If you, if ever you're looking for it, you could find it there. This actually isn't too bad. The, the uh, brass, it's a little hard, but it's not too bad. So I am going to, um, uh, just get that. Oh, here's a little piece like that. But what I'm going to do is, um. I'm gonna get my other cutters. I don't wanna destroy my good cutters. Mm -hmm. So this is the brass wire, 16 gauge. And let me just find the other cutters. I have, um, I actually have memory wire cutters that I use when the wire is too um, thick because I don't wanna destroy my cutters. And I have another pair, let me find it. If I can find them. I'll just use the memory wire cutters. I just don't want to destroy my cutters. So, uh, I don't know why I just Googled. Okay. It, okay. It has a cut to represent elephant's trunk since it represents, whoa, that's cool. I would have never, I would have never guessed that. I'd like to buy 18 gauge wire at Walmart for 98 cents. Ooh, that sounds like a good deal. The Bishop hat. It's a hat. So maybe it's like a hat with an elephant trunk line on it. That's possible. I thought it was like a coat of armor or something, but I'm that would be more of the on the on the bishop of on the horse. I should write these down, guys. Okay, bishop. Bishop is the horse. And what was the what was the other one? The um what was the other one with the that we just looked at? I'm lost. Okay, hang on. I'm just go scrolling through. I'm just scrolling through these again. So this is the bishop, and what's this one again? Tell me. I forget. <laughs> I'm so lost. Uh, no, this is the bishop. No, that's the bishop. I've, I've, I'm, I'm completely lost now. So you guys have to tell me again what's what. I just had a brain fart. That happens to me all the time on these live streams. So the horse is a knight. Yeah, see, that's what I have to do. And the castle, this one is the bishop. Uh, the bishop. And then what's this one here? What, what, what was that one again? Yeah, I forget too. We're, we're all getting lost here. So the one with the cut is the bishop. Okay, yeah. And then what's the castle? What, what's the castle one? I forget that one. And now I need an eraser. So there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. I know this one is the pawn. That one I can't forget. A rook. It's a rook. What does that mean? What is a rook? I'm I'm not sure what that is. A rook. Interesting. Okay, so let's do the bishop now. As we were, um, I'm gonna just look because I had googled some images of the. Um, of the bishop, so I'm just gonna see what else it might look like because I am not 100% sure how we could get it to look interesting and still look like a um, a bishop. So let me just see. It's pretty plain. That's the thing. It's I find it very very plain. I'm not exactly sure. Is it a? It's like a soldier or something. Some of them, they, some of them, he has like a, a kind of a shield thing. So I'm not, I think I need more inf, a rookie mistake. R, R, R. That's very funny. But um bum we need a drum roll. So now let us just do something that looks like a bishop. But honestly, I'm a little lost. I'm not quite sure what to do with that. This one might be a little heavy for that too, but we can just see. So what if we, what kind of pliers do you use? I bought, these are the um, Zuron. These are a really good brand. These are my favorite pliers. Um, they, you can't buy this exact one, but there's a very similar one that I put in my Amazon affiliate shop. They're just like stainless steel round nose pliers. And then, um, yeah, but Zuron's a good brand. Please give a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Just make a cone and a cut. Maybe like that, eh? Okay, so if we just do like a kind of a cone shape, and then if you wanted to do like a kind of a, we'll just stylize it for now. We can go back to this one after. So if we go like do a little, 
Oh no, the curve, the curve seems to go the other way. So let me just, okay, this thing's getting tangled on everything. So let me just clip this one again. I think this wire is way too long. So this one actually looks like, yeah, this wire is way too long. So this one looks like it has to go more up. So we're, let's straighten this one up. We're gonna straighten this one out a little bit. And then I wanna bend this like straight up because the curve goes the other way, that's the thing. So it goes straight up. And then we are going to like a hot knife through a cone. Hmm. So there we go. We're gonna go around here and uh, curve it around. And I could, I'm gonna try some of these another time with like different pieces and gauges of wires too. So that kind of does like a curve thing. It's a little bit hard to get it a sharp bend. And then we're going to just bring that one around. And then we want to bring this one back up. So we're going to bend that, bring it back up. And uh, you might want to practice on thinner, softer wire because some of these, um, some of the wires like the brass is very hard. So it's kind of hard to get it looking good. So we've got that. Don't hurt yourself. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be careful for sure. So this, just hope I don't scratch the my uh, camera too. So here... It does like a little curve. It's not super good because usually usually it has like a more like a little knobby thing on top. So maybe we should have done like a little knob. So let me just see if we can make some kind of little knob on the top because right now it doesn't really look super accurate. But if we do like that looks a little bit more accurate with a knob on the top. I'm actually going to clip this wire. It's way too long. So I'm going to clip that a little bit. And then, Jennifer, love the bead as the top of the pond. Oh, thank you. I wasn't sure about that. So I could incorporate beads in it. Um, I, thanks for the feedback because sometimes it's um, hard to be objective. But I, I definitely will try some more with beads then because um, cause I, like the, I like that idea. And uh, even put some like shiny beads and stuff. So we're going to bring that one out. That one's actually a miracle bead. So this one, this is reminding me of a character from a video game, and I don't know which game it is now. And it looks a little bit like a milk jug too. So it's, you're a little restricted with how we can shape the wire when it's so thick. I don't have a chessboard, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to paint one for sure. Uh, Janet's got to go. Thanks for hopping on, Janet. Have fun with your granddaughter. Have fun with Madeline. Take care. So now we are going to keep going with this. So this will curve around. Let's get around, around um, uh, pliers. Okay, bring that one around like that. And then we can just, actually it, there's like a little line across. So if, if you wanna get that effect of the line, we're gonna bend that one that way. And then this one, this would, oops, this one's coming back. So I'm going to bend this one out that way. Okay. And, and then bend that one out that way. So that way it looks like there's a line across. Does not look like it should, but it's just to give you an idea technique wise. And then, so you have a line out there like that. So if we bend this one back and then push it in and then down out here. It's getting a little gray out. So sorry if it's a little bit dark and then this one back and out like that. So that kind of makes somewhat of a shape. It's not bad. It's not horrible, um, but it's not like perfect either, but it definitely gives you the, that impression. And so if we bring that one out and then what we want to do from there is do the same thing where you have that impression of a line there. So if we bring that one here, we're going to bend that one across. Okay. Uh, Ms. OMG Moon says, perfect. Thank you. So we're going to bring that one across there. And then this one, the other way, 
This is how you give an impression of like crossing over lines. So you just have to go back and kind of back and forth thing. So there's like that. And then what we want to do is get it to kind of go straight down and then stand. So actually we could just do like that. So we're going to get this, bring it down here. And then this one too, this one's ending up being a little bit big, but that's, we will get proportions right. When I do the whole set, I would get the proportions right. But for the samples, it's okay. Um, Knight and Bishop are very good. Thank you. So there's that. And now we're going to bring this one straight down. And then we're going to, we want to do the same thing where we do a kind of um, a stand. So if we bring this one straight across like that, Looks not too bad, guys. And then we want to make the circle so it will stand. So now what we can do is take this one here. I'm going to just do it straight out. And I'm going to... Uh, what do I want to do? I'm going to just get the uh, circle. So let's just take this one, bring this one around the pot. So hopefully it's about the same size. If not, go to a smaller, if it's too big, then you go to a smaller pill bottle because it bounces back out. Once you, when you curve it, it'll bounce back out again. So you're better to go with a smaller bottle and then you can um, adjust it after that. So we've got that. Do it, adjust this so it's centered in there because you want it more or less centered. Doesn't have to be perfect. So we're going to get that one in there somewhat centered. And then from there, we could just give it a clip. So we can clip that here. And that'll go there. And then it's just this end. You have to decide what you want to do with it. But you could just cut it flush. So we can just also cut that one flush here. So let's get that one in here. I'm using the memory wire cutters so it's not uh, won't hurt my cutters. I can, I think you can do the pawn similarly. I think so too, eh? I think it would be nice actually, just like this style. I mean, this is cute. This would be super cute for kids, like a, or a, a, say a checker game. You can use these as checker pieces. That would be super cute. But maybe for the, maybe for the um, chess game, we should keep it in, in line with that. So why don't we do, like you said, a pawn like that would be super cute. So why don't we just do a quickie one right now? like that and let's see if I I'll get the I'll get the wire um ba -da -ba -da. I'm gonna bend over there we go okay so now I like that idea of doing the pawn the same way so let's do that the same way there's the silver one and yeah I agree with you they should all look similar so we're getting there guys we're really getting there and then so now let us do the pawn. So if we do the pawn, we can get, let me get my Sharpie. Here we go. Oh, there goes a pill bottle almost off the, off the uh, table. So now let's just get, make a circle. Okay, this will be the pawn. And the beads I'll save for another time. So now we're gonna just bring this one around, around here. And hopefully I, put it in the right position. So there's just like the circle for the pawn. And then uh, we can do it the same way where we just bring this one straight out, that one straight out, and then we're gonna bend it back right here. And then straight down and curve it out. See, the trouble with this aluminum wire, it kind of like not cracks, but it's it doesn't bend as smoothly as the um, as the uh, copper. So I should really be using the silver colored copper wire for this, but I don't have much. I have to go back to Michael's and get some more or just wait for the beetle on people to send me some because I really could use some of that co um, silver colored copper 16 gauge wire the um the artistic wire because that that stuff is good and it it makes a nice smooth smooth curve so like this is the idea so if you do like the pawn like that sadly this doesn't curve out super well but uh yeah 16 pawns so i'm gonna have to hire 
maybe the neighbor to come over and make me 16 pawns because <laughs> that's going to take a while. Instead of getting them to come and shovel our laneway, he could come and make me 16 pawns. So we're going to see. I'll get there. Maybe I'll do them late late night, one night, watch videos and, and make pawns. I could do that too. I need a pawn to make my pawns. Ha, ha, ha. I can make jokes too. So there we go. <laughs> so now we have this one that's coming. Uh, just imagine that the wire is nicer and it doesn't do that. So we're going to bring this one out. And then let's just see. Um, bring that one out here. Yeah, I just, I sh should have like used a different wire, but it's not too bad. <laughs> guys if you guys don't already know I write comics so I do definitely have a sense of humor and definitely can laugh at myself too which is which I think is a good quality so now let's go ahead and bend this one over here and then this one flip it and bend that one over here uh, maybe a little bit more Okay, around here, and then we're gonna do as we did. See that one? Maybe I bent too much, so I should have been a little bit longer, but that's all right. So we're gonna go across here, and then we want to do the same thing we did with the bishop. I'm gonna bring this one around here, even though this is not great wire for making these curves. Like, this is the wire I use for my work, but the nature of how I make my work stuff. Uh, this doesn't happen because I have different, you know, techniques and stuff that I do. So that's all right. This is uh, this is okay. Just it's just hard to make really smooth curves. Usually the stuff I do for my work is a little more like kind of regimented. So this when you try to get like organic bends, it's a little bit difficult. So here's this one. Uh, JN Branda Jewelry. Janine. Hi, Janine from Missouri. No worries. So now we are going to continue with this bring this one straight across to do the base there oh totally looks like a pawn so now then we're going to take this one uh what are we doing mm. oh yeah this is going to make the circle so we're going to bend this one out and then we're going to clip this one i can use my regular cutters for this one there because it's going to hold its shape so we're going to just put the regular cutters there. You want to use a wire that's stiff enough that it's going to hold its shape. And then we're going to get the round bottle again. Wind it around to make a full circle there. And then we want to... This one didn't get super curved because it's hard near the end to get it really curved. And then you want to center this part. So we're going to center this part here in there and then bring that one out here that one there and there we go you found a cool you found a um an emoji with a pawn that's super cool uh Ms. Oh my God, Moon, can't wait to see the Queen and King. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to see them. Someone want to make them for me? Uh, it's okay. So now let's just bring this one in. And I'm going to tighten up the circle a little bit just to make it a little more consistent. We're just going to bend this one in. Clip that. So, so far, guys, let's see what we have. We have the pawn. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. It's not bad for a sample. We have the bishop. There's the fish up. We have the rook. Not loving those windows, but I think we could also do the rook in the same style that we did these ones. Mm, I might do that after. And then we have the, the knight. So the knight is cute too. So those are what we have so far. And nice one. Thank you. The queen and king... Uh, the queen and long should be taller than others. The queen and uh, king, I guess, should be longer than the others. Yeah, they should be taller. Mm -hmm. So now, now if, if, I, if I, I mean, if I want to do them exactly like the, um, the traditional ones, I could do that. And then I could also do some other ones after. So why don't we do a couple of traditional ones 
And then we could do some other ones after. Ellen says, I don't know when I might ever need this tutorial, but at least I know it's out there. There you go. Yeah. If ever somebody asks you to make a wire chest set, you'll know where to go. So now let's cut a piece of the brass. Or this is not the brass. This is the brass. I've lost track now. If this is the brass or the... This one's the brass, I think. Um, yeah, I think this is the copper one. So maybe I'll use the brass. I like the brass. It has a nice uh, feel to it. Uh, I once made a spring with wire with wire with my bare hands. Aha, the rook is the castle walls. Yes, yes, yeah, definitely looks like a castle for sure. So now, how are you, Debbie? Nice to see you. So we're going to take this one and make a queen. So I'm going to cut this with the memory wire cutters because it is pretty stiff and then the queen looks like she has just like a little knob on the top so why don't we just try to do it as she is in sort of like the traditional set oh this is going to be very you know uh it's very hard this one i'm going to go back to the copper i think let's go back to the copper so now I'm going to take this one and just first do like a little circle. Yeah, this is easier. This is the, this is the artistic wa copper wire. So she has like a little knob on top. And then this kind of goes down like that. And this one, let's bring it in a little bit more. This one goes straight across. Yeah, it's hard to get nice angles on this one. That one straight across, and then this one comes down, and this one down. It's kind of cute. Okay, and then we'll do the thing where we go, like, make the line across. So we'll take this one, we'll go straight across, and then this one. I'm definitely going to try to make this with paper clips, but I'm going to need to really super simplify the design for it to work. So we've got that. And if we want to get it somewhat consistent with the other ones, we can do a little ledge here, even though it doesn't necessarily have one. We can do like a little ledge thing here. And I think I should have done a few other like little layers in here, but it's all right. So we're gonna do this one and then this one. Bring that one in. The pawn is the infantry. That makes sense. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're hence the expression the, to be a pawn, right? You're told what to do for sure. Um, can you guess which is stronger between the castle, the knight, and the bishop? Maybe the bishop only because he's like right beside the queen. So I'm not sure actually. Thanks, Clarice. Clarice is sharing the Facebook group. So if you guys aren't already members of the Wiremakers Club on Facebook, you can join. Uh, you just need to answer all the entry questions to join the group. We, it's a private group, and we have pretty strict rules about not selling and, and self-promotion and stuff. So that's uh, if you answer the four questions, uh, you can enter the group and share your beautiful wire art and wire jewelry. So now... This is the kind of the queen, so I she's a little bit different than uh, the knight. I think I should, probably should have made a few more lines in there. Um, I think I'm just going to do it like this for now. Yeah, she should have probably had a few lines, but that's okay. So she has to be taller, a little taller. This is going to look like she's actually going to look like she has a skirt. So if we bring that one out here... And we're going to bring, I might run out of wire here. So we're going to bring this one straight across here. And then after I'm going to try some more stylized ones. We have this one. And uh, let's measure it a little bit. That one goes to there. That one, wait, that one goes to about there. And that one goes to about there, I guess. So there, we're going to bring that one across there. And... Then, uh, why don't we do that one? So we went that one. I don't need it too wide at the bottom. Okay, we're going to bring that one in. And then we're going to do this thing where we bring that one down. And that one down. And then this one, we're just going to keep it simple because otherwise I'm going to run out of wire. So we're going to bring that one straight across here. 
Uh, Corey has to go. Bye, Corey. Or Mirta has to go. Somebody's going. Bye, Mirta. Bye, Corey. Somebody's going. I'm not sure. Are you both going? Bye, guys. So now we are going to just bend this one straight across and we can do the loop again. So let's just cut this one. I'll just use the memory wire cutters because I forget which wire this is. I think it's the softer one. So now we're gonna do a little curve, but my thing rolled down the table. So I'm gonna go find that. There we go. And we are going to wrap this one around here. And then I can't wait to see what you guys create. If you do like your own little adaptations to it, I'm definitely going to try some different designs too. So here is the stand for the queen. And then this part, yeah, it's pretty good. So it's very simple that one. I think it needs work, but it's just the idea. And then it's, they stand. I mean, you might have to like adjust these a little bit to get them to stand properly. You put them on the table and wiggle them around. So we, and then compared to the bishop, it's a little taller, but I am definitely gonna do, like change this a little bit so it's not exactly like the traditional one. So now Mirta has to work. Okay, that's it. So bye to Mir Mirta, I think she's already gone. I'm gonna have a sip of water. And then now we want to do the king. Let me just see if I have some other wire that I can use. Um, this one isn't too bad. I don't think I want to use up that wire. I'm just going to use the aluminum one again because I don't want to use up my good copper wire because these are just like really loose samples. So here is the aluminum wire and let us do that little cross thing on the top of the king. It's like the thing that they have on their... Um, Thing that kings have on their crowns, I guess. So let's just bend that a little bit. And then we're going to, with the tweezer nose pliers, we're gonna bring that one in. And then I'm gonna push my computer back because I don't wanna scratch it. Let me just move it back a little bit. There we go. So I can still see your comments, but I don't wanna scratch my computer with my wires. So now we're gonna take this and keep it simple. So we're gonna bring that one out, that one, that one, oh, maybe a little wider, that one, that one. And what I'll do is once I've perfected these guys, I'll make some templates. So if you guys wanna trace them, it's gonna be much easier, I think. So once I've like really perfected the designs, I'll make some templates available that you can get for that. So now, and, and this one has to go straight down, I guess, like that. Okay, so there's that one. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you. We are just making a king for a chess piece. That's, that's the plan. So let's just keep going with that. Bring that one in. Ouch, I just pinched myself. Okay, and then that way. Maybe bring this one a little bit more. And, and then straight across. And then I have to bring this one straight down. So let's see how that works. Okay, so that, it's a little on the big side maybe, but that's okay. So now we want to, oh, what I should have done is not bent those at all. I should have like kept one straight across that way. Yeah, I should have not bent those. So if you do this, don't bend these. Just keep them going straight out. And we'll do like we did before, where we form the next layer, the next level after that. So these should have gone straight across. Hopefully they won't break because I've bent the wire too much. So this would be like the top of the king, okay, like that. And uh, Kathy says, interesting, I never learned chess, but used to play a mean checker game. Nice. Well, we were saying you could also do checkers. You could do, do a checkerboard. Uh, Tish says, Ellen, I use Heather's technique in most of my wire wrapping. Cool. She's my muse. Nice. So, Ellen, I don't see, I, did I see Ellen hop on? Hi, Ellen. If I missed you, the king is a dot? 
Doctor. Really? How interesting. I have to get um, up on my um, chess trivia because I don't know anything about it. So now we are going to do the top of the, the uh, king. So we're going to bring this one around. A doctor. Seriously? No, are you joking with me or is he really a doctor? Because maybe maybe that cross is not supposed to be a medical cross. I think you're pulling my leg. Okay, I was going to say, I am very gullible. So if you tell me something, I might believe it. So there we go. And so now we're going to do... <laughs> That's funny. I love, love, love the chest. We'd really love to give it a try. Yay, Mustafa. I hope you make one because um, I'm definitely going to make a complete set. I'm just like having fun working this out, but I definitely want to make an actual nice set. So, and uh, I'll link up below my friend, uh, Patricia made some out of um, pottery clay. Uh, so this is, she was sort of the inspiration for this one. So, um, so that would be the top. And now what we want to do is make the little part that goes straight across. So for that, we would take this, go straight across. And then this one, sorry if my our, uh, hands are going off screen. I'll do my best to keep them. I should actually have the, I should actually put my iPod like higher up. But what I need is a higher tripod. So we've got that. And so now... Uh, benefit of the doubt. Night. Heather, ma'am, it's very teachable. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So now we are going to take these ones and bend this. Here, I'm going to use my tweezer nose pliers for this. So I'm going to bring, bring this one like straight across. And um, if we want more than one, I'm just trying to think of how we could do that. So if we go like that, and then bring this one, I should have maybe bent it out a little more. Oops, I'm going to bring that one out again. And then this one too, we're going to bend it to the back so it's consistent. Uh, back. And then we are going to bend this one out here. Yeah, tonight I'm actually teaching an in-person art class at the gallery. I'm teaching watercolors, so I'm excited for that. Um, it's the uh, first time I've taught like a five-week course. I usually do workshops, but this is like a full-on five-week painting class. So that's fun. So there's that. And then if we want to go across, do we want to do it again? That's the thing. Mm, I'm just thinking, guys, thinking out loud. Because it has like a few layers. Oh, okay, that's what I should have done then. Okay, again, I should have done this the other way. I should have done, I hope it doesn't break. So again, if you want to make that line across, you should go that way. That's what you have to do. So same thing here. If you want to go straight across, I hope it doesn't break. Ooh, it's it's going to break. I knew it was going to break. Ah, see, that's what happens when you bend the wire too much. Um that happens. So what I'm going to do is I am going to redo this with 18 gauge wire because it's going to be much easier. So let's just take this. It's okay. Things happen like that all the time. These are just samples, so I'm not super worried about it. I'm going to grab a sip of water. Mm -hmm. A restaurant I eat at has a woven chess checkerboard. I'm trying my hand at crocheting. Woo, that, that's a good idea to crochet a board. I like that. So let's start again. And let's just do that little cross thing first. So we're going to go like that. And out. And out. Is This is 18 gauge, isn't it? Or is it 20? Yeah, it's 18. So now we're going to go in here. Yeah, the, the 16 is thick and then the 18 is thin. So it's hard to know what to use. So let's just... Let's just do what we've already done here. We're just going to go back, keep going, bring that one, and then down, down. And then instead of making the same mistake, we'll do it differently. So we're going to bring that, and then bring that one out a bit, and that way. So there we go. So we have the cross here like that. 
so there we go. And then, oh, it's really dark, guys. Sorry about that. But it's gray outside. So now we're going to take this one straight across. And this one straight across. So there we go, straight across. And then what I'll do is after the live stream, I'll work on some more designs and share them in the community section so you guys can see what they look like. And now what we have to do is... I think this is straight across here. I'm not sure, but we can go like straight down there. And then um, some of them like are more like curved around and some of them are more squared. So if we do that, and then uh, just trying to look at the shape here. Could even just go like that. So then we're gonna bring this one straight across here. Keep making mini ponds and they are a lot easier Cool, fun, I love that. Yeah, mini ones, see, I, I like the idea of actually doing it in this 18 gauge wire because it's um, it's small and you can make like a mini set. I think that would be really cute uh, to make a mini a mini set. And then I could paint like a little mini uh, chess board, which would be cool. And then I have to learn how to play chess. So that's the next step. So there we go. I play online Scrabble, but I've never played online chess. So there's the top. And then what we do from there is you can also do like similar to what we did before. So we go down here, down here, and then this one too, we could bend this a little over to the back here. Debbie says there are six different types of chess pieces. Each side starts with 16. Yes, yes, that's right. I did play chess as a kid but um oh my goodness it's been so long I think we have some at my parents cottage but uh we don't usually play chess when I'm out, up there I do a lot of art when I'm up there so there's that and then if you want to do those like layers those lines you just like bend it that way that was the error I made last time I bent it the wrong way and then it then it busted so if we do it that way so we've got that and then, um, I'm trying to see, I think you can just like bring it down again. So we're gonna bring that one down here and down here. And maybe you could do one more, I guess. I might run out of wire, that's my only issue here. So we're gonna bring that one across, that one across here. And then now we're gonna bring it down. So we're gonna bring this one down, straight down. I'm not going to worry about it being bigger than the queen because we are doing um, thinner wires. So I'm not going to worry about that at all. So we're going to bring that one here. And then we want to cross them over again. So we're going to bring this one. I'm really going to run out of wire. So I'm going to keep it pretty uh, small. So we're going to do this way. And then we want to check that one. And bring that one over that way, I guess. There we go. That way. And then from there, uh, we are going to finish it the same way we did the queen. So we're going to bring that one here around. And then this is going to form the circle. So we're going to bring that one out. This will form the base. Just going to bend it out. And then this one, we're going to bring it down. And then this one we want to bring straight across. So just to finish it off and look at that, we have just barely enough wire. So that's cool. So we're going to bring that one straight across and then we can clip that one. So we're going to do that. We'll just clip it. I really wish I had more light today, but uh, you get the idea. And I will do a tutorial once I've like decided which ones I like the best. I'll do a little tutorial for it as well. So now we can get our round form, bring it around, and go like that. Bring it further than you think you need. So that way when it springs back, it'll still be round. So we're going to bring that one down here, that way, that way. Bring that one in a little bit and then once you're happy with it just clip that little end here so we're just going to clip it i'll show you what you got what i have so far 
And then you guys can give me some feedback and stuff. So here, it's a little crooked, but this is the king. Okay. Definitely, these definitely need work, but it's the idea. So there's the king. And thank you. There's the queen. She's taller than the king. I don't mind that. So then here is the um, bishop. And then the, uh, whoop, what's next? The knight. There's the knight. And there's the um, rook. And then where do we put the pawn? And then here's the pawn. So let me know what you guys think of these ones. Let me know uh, what you would change of, of these. I don't love the windows in, in the rook. And this isn't necessary, the spiral. You just need just a round base. So perfect. Thank you. Hi, Lita. These are awesome. Thank you. So yeah, let me know. This is definitely a work in progress. I'm going to grab a sip of water. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't do these. Should we do these guys for fun? Let me know if you want me to do those guys because otherwise I'll just sign off. But I could do those ones if you if you like. Michelle says, Mrs. Boyd, thank you so much for your tutorials. I'm three months new into wire wrapping. Love it. Oh, fantastic. You are very welcome. Alina says, great idea, but very nice, very good remake. I mean, very crappy day to enjoy your visit with your love, W lot. Thank you, I think. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble reading the comments. They're a little... I had to push my computer back, so I'm like squinting to see the comments. Um, Kathy liked them all. Thank you. And a Aisha says, hi, hello. So why don't we make one of the... Um, we'll make these just for fun. Let's just do those guys for fun. So I'm going to put these guys at the side. There we go. And I am going to get some aluminum wire and pawn out of a paper clip. Awesome! You'll have to definitely share some pictures. I'm, and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna definitely do these out of paper clips. I think they'll be super fun for people to make uh, if they're bored at work. And uh, that would be super fun. So now uh, to do a, um, the king, let me just see how I want to do it. Cause I might want to add the crown separately. Maybe I'll add the crown separately. Let's just let's just do this one a little bit differently. So I'm going to take this wire. I'm going to just bend this. And I am going to get his, get this one. We're going to just take the circles. It's going to be, it's hard because there's a big, it's a big uh, wire. So let's just go around here. And, um... See, I kind of like the idea of doing the crown with the same wire too, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So I'm going to bring this one around here and um, doo -ba -doo, bring that one down, bring that one up. And then what I'm going to do actually is get another wire. This is, I do this sometimes with two wires. So let me just cut another wire. And then I'm going to take this wire and bring this one around. This is going to be maybe like too, um, too stiff, this wire. So we're going to bring this one down. I have some, another beaded figure tutorial that I did similar to this. So I can, I can definitely link up some of those tutorials as well. This one I'm going to just bring around here. I don't know if I should put it around here twice. And then I'm going to wind this around. A little bit down. Sorry, I have to get off the camera just for a couple of minutes because I can't like wind this and be under the camera at the same time because I'm going to scratch the camera. So I just wound it around there. And then what I would do is this will be the foot. So we're going to go down here, there, and then just like this way. This is going to be a little silly, but that's okay. So we're going to do this. And finger workout, yes, so cool emoji, I like that. So now we're gonna bring this one here. So that'll be like the foot. And then what we need to do is a, um, like the circle from this one. So if we bring this one back, and then we're just gonna bend this, say you get your like little circle thing to see how big it should be, could be this one too. We're gonna bend this one here. And then we're just going to bring this one. 
And these are just basic stick figures. You could accessorize them how you want. And then you can, um, you know, turn them into all the different figures. So there we have this one. We're going to cut that. Okay. And then would he have anything in his hand, the king? Let me know if he would have anything in his hand. Maybe not. I don't know if he'd be dancing like that. That seems a little silly, but that's okay. He could be dancing. And there we go. We're going to do this one like that. There. Yeah, I mean, you can make any kind of figures you want, and you can make the game any way you want, too. It's, uh, yeah, uh, Cake Topper. King. Yes, definitely, yes. Yeah, Debbie knows I do a lot of wedding cake toppers, so I definitely have done special requests. I don't think I've ever done a chest cake topper, but that is a good idea. So now we're just going to bring that one down and that one up and that way and make just like a little hand thing. So we're gonna do that. And then this one too, down, up, around, and make a little hand. So there we go. A staff, okay, that's an idea, like a little staff or something. Yeah, I like that idea. I'd have to, maybe it would, it would be cool to have like a beaded one or something. That would be really interesting. So now, this is just like the basic, the basic, Oh, uh, shit. It does not look like a king at all, but you can definitely, like, customize these how you want. And so, say you're going to do a, a crown, just let me grab some other wire, because I'm going to need some thicker wire. Uh, what have I got? I have maybe my 20 gauge or 18. Yeah, I think I'll do 18 and maybe 20. Let me just see. 22, 20. Okay, here we go. So I have some uh, 20 and 18. So here's 20. So, uh, yes, yeah, Sean says, Hi, Heather, I did my first wiring last night with the paper clip. Yay, that's awesome. I would love to see a picture. So if you're in the Facebook group, send a picture. And if you're not in the Facebook group, you can always email me photos to info at heatherboydwire.com. So if you're not on social media and you want to send me photos, you can e email them to me. I always love sharing pictures of, of uh, people's works. So now if we're going to do a crown, we can just go uh, sort of down and up, down and up. There we go. Uh, three or four, maybe just, maybe just three or it's not going to fit. So we do like that, down and up. And then we want to bend this here and then this one too there and we can just like stick that on the figure I don't know if that's gonna fit or not uh, might not be able to wind in there very well but we can try it so I'm gonna just go in here try this one bring it through and Yeah, it's so much fun doing wire wire work. You guys, uh, you guys are awesome. I love I love when you share images of what you do and your own style and stuff. Like we have a lot of people of all different like um, experience levels in the Wire Makers Club too that share their work, and it's it's really nice to see. So now I'm going to just finish up this one, just adding a little crown. There's all kinds of things you can do with it, and. That's just like a basic, it's kind of silly, but it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of, it looks like hair actually. I think I might have wanted to do the, um, the crown with the same wire as the, uh, as the figure, but that's okay. So that's, that's one idea. And then say you want to do the, the, um, queen. So why don't we get a piece, another piece of the copper and I'll just do a quick one. And then I'm going to sign off because I'm, um, uh, have to get ready for my class tonight too. So there we go. And let me just have another sip of water. And I'm trying to think for the, like the crown for this one. I think it might be better to do it with a separate wire, but um, let's see if we just cut this one and or bend this one, we're gonna just bend this one out. And then we're gonna make like the head and you can always add uh, hair to it after. So we're gonna bring this one around. 
bring that one around here. And I can't wait to try like to make a full set, but I, I am going to work on the designs a little bit more to be sure. So we're, we'll see how it goes. So there's that one. I think I'll add some hair after. I'm going to bring this one out. Bring that one out here and that one out here. And then for the, I think I'm just going to make this super stylized. So we're going to just bring her like hands up here. And then bring this one down. Yeah, this wire is very stiff. And then this one too, we're going to bring that one down and do hands. Hopefully I'm in the screen here and bring this one up here. I think I've made her a little bit too big, but we're going to see. So we're going to bring this one down and then bring this one down here. Oopsies. And I think I'm going to have to like just rotate that out a little bit more. And this one too, we're going to rotate that out a little bit more. And then I do want to do that little heart in the front. So I'm going to see if I can do that little heart and bring that one up. And next time I'll try a wire that's not as stiff. So then we're going to do like a little heart to represent the top of her dress. So we're going to go down and up and down. Yeah, it's very, it's very hard to get a nice heart shape, but that's the idea. And then we're going to bring that one out, out here. And yeah, you could do like the, like the coil thing like that I had uh, drawn done in the drawing, but also because I'm running out of wire, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. So I'm going to try something else where we just take this one. I'm going to rotate that one a little bit more, bring that one out and rotate that one a little bit more. And then bring that one in and bring that one out. And then let's just try to do like a dress thing. So um, I'm going to bring that one out and yeah, this, this wire is very, very stiff, but I think I can't do the coil. I'm going to run out of like the drawing I did. There was like a coil, but I'm going to run out of um, wire if I do that. So I think what I would do is I just take this one I also might run out of wire if I try to do the circle for this one, but I'm going to see what I can do. So if I'm going to bend that out here and then get our circle again, wind it around. So wind that one around. And then this is definitely something you guys can explore if you want to do some more realistic type figures. So if we have that one just like for her dress, it's kind of cute. And then if you have a little extra, just cut, cut the end. So we'll just cut the end off a little bit. And then this one, we want it to uh, hold in place. So you can, you can twist it on there if you want, just to hold it in place. It's going to make it a little bit knobby there. That's the only trouble. Um, I'm trying to think of the best solution to that. There's not really a solution to that because if you want this to be perfectly flat and you wind this around, it'll make it a little bit knobby. So that's why I kind of like the clean lines of just bending it across. Let's see how we go. So we're going to do this. Bend the straight. Uh, Mustafa says, I will take some time out to make these beauties. Awesome! Uh, what is the strong wire to start with? So, well, this wire that I'm using right now, it's a brass. It's a 16 gauge brass. I also have 16 gauge copper. But if you want to make small chest pieces, use the 18 gauge because uh, the 16 gauge is pretty hard to work with. It's very, very thick. So let me bring this one out. Bring that one down a little bit more. So see this way, if you do it this way, you're not going to get you won't wind it around there and you won't damage that. But the other thing you could do with, if this wire was longer, you could do like a cool little spiral or something in there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. But as a prototype, this isn't too bad. So we're just going to cut that one here. And then say you do want to add like some hair to her or something and a crown. Uh, what I can do is grab 
this one to maybe, or I'll get a thinner wire for the hair. So let's get a thinner wire. And uh, maybe the 22 would be nice. And we can do also a crown. So say we got, here's some nice wire for the hair. So let's try this. And what if you cross it over to the other side just before the gap? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's what I did with the previous ones. And it's it's okay. Like, they, they are a little fragile when the wires aren't attached. But um, it just makes for a cleaner kind of look. So say you want to do hair. Uh, we can just... Um, Sometimes you could add separate wires, but sometimes an easier way to do hair is you can just like cut a few pieces. We'll see if this is gonna work. I haven't done hair for a while, so let's just cut like four pieces or something and see if we could do something with this. Because once we add the crown, it'll make it a little more solid too. So say we just take these pieces. I'm going to wind this, uh, or maybe I'll take a longer piece to wind it around. So take these. Take a longer piece and then wind it around the four pieces. This is, I could have even done 24 gauge wire. This 22 is maybe a little bit um, uh, thick, but that's okay. So uh, the lower the gauge, the thicker the wire. Yes, so the lower number uh, the uh, on the gauge, that means it's thicker. So the wire, so 18 gauge is thinner than 16 gauge. And like 28 gauge wire is so thin, it's like, um, it's like um, thread. You can crochet with that one. So I do crochet with 28 gauge wire. And some people use 28 gauge and 30 gauge for wire weaving as well. I'm not a wire weaver, so I don't, but a lot of people do. So I'm just trying to attach some hair on here. Holus Moss says, I would have never thought to make character pieces. Yes, it's fun, eh? Yeah, no, I just, um, I was inspired by my friend Patricia, who's made them out of um, pottery, clay. And I thought it was a really cool idea. So I thought, I'll just try to make them out of wire. So let's just bring this one in. I'm just, there's other ways you can attach hair. I'm just going for it this way. But if you have a better way to attach the hair, you can. I've actually never done it quite this way. Usually I just wind it around the head with the, all of the wires. But this time I'm just using one wire to wind it onto the head. So we're just going to see. It's kind of fun. And then I'm going to curl her hair. And then we're going to put a crown. And, um, oh, okay, let's just get this in there. There we go. Okay, that's... It's just not going properly. So there's, like, if you have the hair like that, then you can kind of curl it, and then we can put a crown on top. So let's just go ahead and uh, curl the hair. So there's a few ways we can do that. We can get a wire, and we can just, like, do this type of thing. So that works, just to kind of curl the hair. Uh, I have 18 and 0.4 millimeters. So 0.4 millimeter is... Very thin. The thinnest I use um, uh, of the aluminum wire, like it's usually it's aluminum wire that's uh, written in millimeters. Usually the copper wire, it's written in gauge. But 0.4 millimeter, like 0.8 is about a 22, I think. So 0.4 must be like a 26 or something. I'm not sure. I don't have a conversion chart with me, but does anyone know what a 0.4 millimeter is? It is? I'm not sure. She looks beautiful. Thanks, Mustafa. And uh, yeah, this will be my last one. And it's very late in uh, where you are, Mustafa. So I'm really sorry if I'm keeping you up. If you have to go, no worries. We're almost done. But we are just going to curl her hair a little bit. And then we're going to try to give her a crown. Get this like that. And then if you need to trim some of those ends a little bit, you can just like trim them. Because it's hard to curl like the very last bit of the wire. So there's that. So there's her hair. Perfect. She doesn't really need that much hair, but that's okay. Oops, let's get it straight down. And it's curving around. So I might do it like a little cheat and just hook it around her shoulders so it doesn't, um, so it doesn't like move around like that. So I can just take one of the hairs and hook it around her shoulder and then it won't like 
wiggle out of, out of place like that because that was like wiggling. So now that's a little hack. We can just put it on her shoulder. And then if you want it longer, just take it and pull them down a little bit. So take the hairs, bring them down. And there we go. So there she's got her, her hair, very curly, cute. And then we can do a... Um, we can do a crown. So let's just do these. And if, if there's too much hair, you can always cut some off too. So we're going to just take these and we're going to do these. Perfect. Point four is 26 gauge. Oh, is that, I think that's what I said. That's cool. That was just sort of a, a, a guesstimate. So awesome. Thank you, Corey. Yeah, you can find all those um, charts on Google. If you Google uh, wire conversion chart or you can Google gauge to millimeters, then you can find out uh, what your wire is. So that's awesome. I love how we all work together to figure these things out. That's fantastic. So let's just get this one done. We're almost done. And like I said, these little ends that are hard to twist, just clip them off. It's not a problem at all. And then we just have a couple of more. And you can add beads to her. Actually, it would be she'd be really cute with beads in her dress. You can add some beads. I might do that after the live stream. I might like fancy them up a little bit and um, add beads. The the wire ones that I did earlier though, I'm gonna keep as is um, and just experiment with these ones. And I will post a picture in the community section so you guys can have a look at the photos to see how they looked. So Piper, I have to go, no worries. Thanks for, thanks for hopping on and staying for so long, Piper. I really appreciate it. And uh, we're almost done. So let's just do this, bring these wires down her hair seems longer on one side than the other. I'm not sure how that happened, but that happens sometimes. Yeah, the hair is much longer on one side. I guess I should have pulled it over more. Oh, I like her hair. Very cute. So now what we want to do is a, um, a little crown. I'm just going to bring that one down a bit. I think the crown could probably be silver just to be a little bit more in contrast. She's really cute. And let's get some silver wire and cut a little piece we don't need too much and then i'm going to do a crown so let's just do a little crown we're going to what i'm going to do is just bend this straight down straight up because if i bend it back and forth like i did in the king's crown it's going to be too wide she's cute that way thank you so thank you uh, Kathy, and then we're going to bring this one straight down. We're going to do the crown like this because if I do it how I did the, um, which one was I, I tried like that? On the, oh, it was on the guy, like on the king, I did the crown and it ended up being really wide. So let's just try it this way. This might not be the right way to do it either. It looks more like a spring than anything. So let me just see. So if we have it that way and... Yeah, this doesn't really look like a crown, but let me just see. Oh, I have a better way to make a crown. I think this one looks a little, it's okay. Here, I'll do two and you guys can let me know which one you like better. Okay, so Elmarie, hello, hello. You're just hopping on. Uh, we're almost done, no problem. I'm happy you came to say hello. So that's one idea for the crown. Let's try another way, which is just with loops. And then we can see uh Kathy says you're fantastic coming up with your designs oh thank you I just this I thrive on this you guys you know and I'm really happy that you guys like to watch because um I I just can do this for hours you know I have such fun like just figuring out designs and um that's sort of my happy place so I'm really happy that you are enjoying watching the process so uh I'm just gonna keep going with this one try to do the loops in a way that they might look like a crown. And if it doesn't look like a crown, we'll use the other ones. So I was thinking if we just did something like this, bring these ones down a little bit, it's sort of like a crown, but not like super like a crown. So we have the loopy one, which kind of looks more like loops than anything, or we have the, the bendy one like that. Let me know which one you like. If you like the loopy one, or the bendy one, and um, and then we can do the crown. I wonder if this would need another loop. Maybe that would be overkill. We can just see. So if we bring that one up here, and let's bring that one down. That might be overkill. We're going to see. Let's see if that would be overkill to have 
another loop there. No, maybe not. Uh, our happy place too. Yay. I'm so happy. Awesome. So let me know if you like the loops or the bends for the crown and the loopy one. Okay, nice. There we go. Thank you, Hollis. Um, so we've got the loopy ones and if the loops are too far apart, you can actually bring them in together a little bit. Um, it's like that. Perfect. And you know what would be nice is like a little stone or, or a bead or a crystal in the middle would be really cute if I had one. Um, I don't have one offhand that's going to look nice, but I think that's okay like that. So let's do that. And then I'm going to bend this one in a bit and then out. And then that one in a little bit because it needs to be on a bit of an angle. And then out. So... This is what I have so far and love the princess. Yes, you can definitely make little princesses for your granddaughters. Just tell them to be careful with the little sharp ends if they're young. Uh, but yeah, that would be super fun. So here's like a little crown and then we just have to get it to stay properly on there. That's the hard part is attaching it. So I could have also done it to the back and around. Hmm, which might be interesting. I'm going to try that actually. I'm going to try to hold this, uh, bring this one straight back. Okay. Uh, this one too. I'm going to straighten that one out, bring this one straight back. Okay. And then wind it around. That might be better. So we're going to go that way and then that way. Yeah, it's just attaching it that's a little different. Uh, Kathy has a question. Did you take your wire work patterns out of Etsy shop or did I miss some, them yesterday? Um, do you mean my wire patterns are not in my regular Etsy shop? I have a sh Etsy shop called Heather Boyd uh, DIY. Heather Boyd Wire DIY. So that's where the patterns are. I'm not sure if that's what you mean, Kathy. Were you looking in my regular Etsy shop or my DIY shop? Because they're all they're all over on um, in the DIY shop. If you're looking for templates and patterns, um, now I'm not. I don't love the way this looks either. So let's go back to square one. Um, that was a mistake. I had a vision and it didn't work. So let's just try this again. I'm going to straighten this one up. And if you ever have any troubles, Kathy, just email me at info at heatherboydwire.com and I can help you find uh, anything that you need for sure. So let's try this again. This might break now uh, because I've bent it so much, but we're going to try. So we're going to bring that one that way, that one that way. It just didn't look right the way I thought I would going to do it. So let's just bring this one in here. The other thing I guess you could do is just like poke it in like the hair type of thing, which might be better rather than poking it in the in the um, head because when you poke it in the head, it doesn't really sit very well. So let's try to poke it into the hair maybe. Let's try that. This is the hardest part. And let us just try to take this, bring that one in a little bit more and see if we can stick it in the hair somehow. So if we take this, open up the hair a little bit, bring that one up here and that one up here, stick this here in the hair. Yeah, that's going to be better. So, uh, Nargis Quodos, please support kind people. Hello, hello. Uh, must have been in the wrong regular fit. Yes, that's, that's why, Kathy, you were in my other Etsy shop. That is the items that I, the finished items that I sell. But the one that you want would be the Etsy, um, uh, the DIY shop. But uh, thank you so much for, uh, for wanting to get some templates. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just... Uh, just DM me. So there we go. We're going to wind that around a couple of times and hopefully it'll stay. And then this one too, we're going to wind this one a couple of times around the hair. So it's going to stay. And then we can clip this. I think that was a much better idea to stick it in the hair because if you stick it in the head, it's not going to show so much. So there's the crown. Oh, she's so cute. So that's it, guys. Um, I might add some more beads and stuff after, uh, but she's good for now. So there's our queen. There's our goofy-looking king. And uh, and then let's look at the other P 
pieces. So here's the queen and the king. Let's get these out here. I'll take a good picture so you can see them in the community section. And here's the bishop. And here is the knight. Here is the rook and the pawn. So let me know what's your favorite in the comments. And thank you. Uh, Heather has always answered and gave me positive feedback. Yay, thanks, Tish. It's always my pleasure, and I always learn a lot. When you guys ask questions, it makes me think, and, um, and I learn in the process. And I truly believe when you teach, you learn. So that's my philosophy. Mm -hmm. So let me know. Yeah, let me know which are your favorite. Uh, I am going to turn the camera around so I can say goodbye. Let me do that. Perfect. Excellent. So, um, the king's jester. Yeah, he actually could be. Maybe that's a good idea. Corey likes the queen. Fun. Pat says, sweet. Hello, hello. Thank you. And um, yeah, so next video, I, I'm posting a few more paperclip ring tutorials this week. Um, I'm going to try to make these guys out of paperclips. That'll be fun. Michelle likes all of them. To where you get your tools. So the tools, I if you sign up for my mailing list, I have a a sheet, a little ebook called Wire Art Essentials, and all my tools are there, uh, the ones that I use. So you could find that, or just go in my Amazon affiliate shop and you can see all the tools that I use as well. So that's great. And yeah, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go. Thank you, Mustafa and Clarice, so much for moderating the chat. I really appreciate it. And next week is going to be my 200th episode of Wire Lady TV. So look out for something special for that. We're trying to work work something out for a group Zoom call. And, um, and if that doesn't work, I'll figure out something else special. So guys, thank you so much and have an amazing rest of your day. And uh, we'll see you the next time. Bye.